Okay, welcome, welcome once again to LinuxHint.com YouTube channel. In this video, we are gonna show you that how you can actually turn your Emacs into a Python IDE. Okay, so without further ado, let's start. So first of all, we'd open up our terminal as we always do. Press Ctrl Alt T and then zoom in a little bit. And after that, I'm gonna write here Emacs. So I hit Enter, and our Emacs editor would be uh, open up like this. Okay. So the idea is that right now, um, you know, if I go here and if I try to open a file, we certainly know that this is not a Python IDE yet, okay? Because we do not have anything like autocomplete and things like that. So this is a general code. So Emacs built in, it has some sort of Python interactive uh, shell available. So you can actually run that. But what we are going to do that we are going to turn our Emacs editor into a Python IDE using, I repeat, using uh, LP. Uh, okay. So uh, first of all, before we start using LP, uh, before that, uh, I want to show you that if we click on this Python option and if we just, you know, do this start interpreter, you can see that right here. Uh, we can write code here now. So let's say I write here x is equal to 4 and then y equals um, 7 and then if I do x plus y, you can see that I've got the answer 11. So kind of Python is kind of working, right? So similarly, if I want to print, I can write here print hello world and if I hit enter, you can see that hello world has been printed, okay? So now we are going to close our Emacs and uh, now we are going to perform some sort of um, actions, okay? So first of all, we are going to create an uh, init.el file, okay? So basically, we are going to configure our Emacs to be a Python IDE, okay? IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, all right? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to write here, um, you know, G edit basically this is an editor that would open up that file for us so right here dot emacs dot d slash uh, in it dot el okay so when I hit enter uh, it would open up this in it dot el file for us so now what I'm gonna do that I'm gonna paste this uh, code uh, which is basically a configuration for this file and it would basically install packages, then activate packages, then fetch all the packages, then define the list of the packages to install, then it would install all the packages in the list. Okay, so this is basically a kind of a configuration. So we just copy paste it. So what I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put all the instructions and this thing uh, in the in the description, excuse me. So you do not need to worry about it. Okay, so for now just focus on uh, and see that how I do this thing okay focus on this file so I'm just gonna paste it right here so right now you can see that I have uh, pasted till here okay so now uh, what I'm gonna do that I'm gonna paste the basic uh, customization as well okay so you can ask that uh, what is the basic uh, customization so uh, before explaining the basic customization I want to tell you that in here we have a uh, better defaults uh, here okay so you can ask that what is it for it is a set of minor changes that we are making to emacs defaults okay and uh, it is a basically a minor kind of change in the material theme as well okay so the theme is like white it would turn into something else when we will convert it into the ide so now what we are going to do is that we are going to basically uh, copy this basic uh, customization. Okay, uh, this is some of the basic customization. We go here and we just paste it uh, right before this line. Okay, so we just paste it right here and um, we can just, you know, literally separate it like this. Okay, so that you can see and it is visible. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is that we are just going to copy this line. Okay. So what this line it does that it extends the list of packages to install by adding LP. Okay. So now we just copy this, copy this snippet of code 
and we go here and we just simply paste it okay and the next thing that we are going to paste is that uh, now we are going to add the commands to enable LP and its interaction okay so previously we have extended the list of packages to install by adding LP so now we are going to basically enable LP and its interaction okay so this this is the snippet that you're going to use for that purpose okay so you come here and you paste it right here as well okay so don't worry I will explain it in detail in the description as well so right now just focus on in here and then you can copy paste all of that stuff from the description okay so you can actually uh, use for auto completion you can install uh, some of the um, you know packages pip packages from here so you can see that these are one two three four five six approximately six packages so you can uh, install them by using this command pip uh, install let me just clear it so now uh, that is the one thing that we're gonna do that in one line we re we write down all the packages and uh, we basically hit enter to install all of them okay so now you can see that basically we have installed uh, these packages uh, some of them would help us com uh, auto complete our code in the IDE so now uh, what we've got to do we just clear it uh, we have this uh, configuration file ready so we just save it and um, we just cross it we close it okay uh, so now uh, we just go back here let me just close that file as well so that you don't have any confusions so yeah close without saving so now we run our emacs okay so now we hit enter and uh, you can see here that it is basically uh, our emacs has now been turned into a python editor okay or python ide the integrated development uh, environment so here you can see that the color of the IDE uh, of the Emacs editor has also been changed uh, which means that the um, Python IDE is working okay so um, right here what we're gonna do is that we are going to open uh, some code Python code that we have on our desktop pro uh, program.py we uh, click on it and now you can see that basically uh, this is our Python editor and it is showing and displaying some sort of you know different sort of warnings uh, and I think it has some sort of indentation problems as well so what we are gonna do is that we are going to click on LP okay so here you can see that we have different options so if we run test here you can see that uh, we have run a test so you can see that uh, we have we do not have any error it says okay compilation finished okay so I think if uh, we probably would have some sort of indentation error let's see uh, so first of all um, before uh, you know working with the indentation let me show you another thing so if you click on LP you have here complete okay so you if you click on it you can see that it here you have some sort of functions and classes available so it is kind of an autocomplete okay so in in most ids you have this option so in in here in in emacs in python ide we also have that option of uh, autocomplete as well okay then you have got this uh, syntax check so you can see that it is providing white space errors and different kinds of errors but uh, technically uh, with the working of code code is uh, probably right okay so there are small uh, indentation errors as well okay indentation is not multiple of I think it says four okay so uh, now uh, the other option that you can uh, go for is indentation uh, blocks okay so you can basically indent the blocks as well you can detent the blocks as well okay so you can move them up and move them down all right so if you want to indent all of them what you would do you would just select and uh, you then come here and then uh, you go to indentation block and then you basically do this indent region okay 
so um, yes that was pretty much it so if you want to make uh, this um, you know interactive python uh, and if you want to have the python shell as well then with the lp you also have that option so if you click on uh, switch to python ide uh, yes here so now if you write here x equals 1 y equals 2 and then you do x multiply by y you would have this answer here okay so this is basically interactive shell which is also available with the lp as well okay so we try to write here something like print and then we write here hello um inside of that we write here hello world this is linux hint.com youtube channel okay so now this is some sort of uh, python code okay there is one line though so what we are gonna do let me just write down another line print and we write here welcome okay so now um I'm going to press Control C, Control C, and you can see that on the output we have "Hello World." This is Linux and .com YouTube, and uh, then we have "Welcome." Okay, so that is it. I hope you have enjoyed it. You have learned something new. That is how you make your Emacs. Uh, you turn your Emacs into a Python IDE. Um, for written articles, you can visit our website Linux and .com, and I will see you in the next video.